Hi, this is tutorial number one for NPC Chat version 2.0. And in this video, we'll be using the tutorial scene included with NPC Chat. Here we have a simple demo environment with some objects in the scene. We also have a player camera, a player controller, and an NPC model. So to get started, we will bring the NPC Chat prefab into the scene. Next, we'll bring a chat box into the scene and we can assign the chat box to the prefab and enter some text. And in order to initialize this NPC chat, we need a way to do that. So there's some additional components included. We have distance check, a mouse over outline, and a few different ways to trigger chat. In this case, we'll use trigger chat on mouse down. So I will just drag and drop that script onto the NPC. And by default, we're actually ready to go. So if I press play and I click, the NPC chat is going to be initialized because I'm pressing mouse button zero down. Now, if I'd like to, I can take this a step further and require mouse over to start. For this to work, we need to add a box collider. At this point, we'll take a look at the NPC chat object in the scene. We can move this a little closer to the robot Kyle, and then we could change the size of the box collider and we could offset it a little bit. So now when the user clicks on the box collider, Robot Kyle will talk. And I could click anywhere else and he won't talk, but when I click on him, he will talk. Okay, so to take this a little bit farther, we can add a mouse over outline. And on the mouse over outline, just go ahead and assign the mesh renders that you want to be outlined. In this case, it's gonna be the character robot guard body. I'll press play. Now we can see I get a nice outline effect when I mouse over the character. Another component that we can add is distance check. I'll go ahead and add that in. And in this case, I'll have it find the player on start. And the player's name is player controller. Go ahead and assign that. I will minimize some of these components. From here, I can assign the box collider to be disabled if the NPC chat is not in range. And I could also have the trigger chat on mouse down be disabled if the NPC chat is not within range of the player. And by default, the distance to chat is set to seven. So I'll press play. Now when I mouse over the NPC, there's no outline. And we could also see that trigger chat on mouse down is disabled and the box collider is disabled. If I walk a little closer, we can see once we're within range, the box collider and trigger chat are enabled. So if I click on the NPC, he will talk. And that's about it. That's how you use NPC chat. Now you can also add additional pages. So I will just change this to two and select update. Now we can see we can navigate between page one and two and each page has its own settings. So for page two, I will have robot Kyle speak again. And he'll just say something generic. I will assign the same chat box. You can create as many chat boxes as you like and use them for different pages. At this point, I'll go ahead and press play. And here's his first page of dialogue. Uh, and once I click again, it will go to the next page. And there we are. And now it's done. If you have any requests for this asset, it's still being updated and 
If you have a specific use case, I'd be interested to hear it. Perhaps there are some additional components that I can add to the project.